Hello, this is Dr. Ben Finio. I am joined today by Elsa because she is the only toy my daughter would let me borrow. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to share your screen in Zoom, including what your participants see when you share your screen, because that is a question I get a lot. And we'll also go over how to avoid embarrassing mistakes like accidentally sharing your email or message notifications. Now, let's start off with the basics, and then we'll go on to some of the more advanced options. To share your screen in Zoom, you need to click the Share Screen button at the bottom of your Zoom window. And the first thing many people will say is the share screen button is not there. That's because you need to move your mouse to wake up the Zoom menu. And then the share screen button should appear in this toolbar that pops up at the bottom. If you have left your mouse off of the Zoom window or holding still for too long, that menu will collapse. So just shake your mouse. It'll bring that menu back up. Then you can click the share screen button. Now, before you do that, especially if you are the type of person who tends to leave a million things open on your computer, I would recommend going through and closing all of the windows and programs that aren't directly involved with your Zoom meeting or what you intend to share, and you will see why in a second. So when I click this button, it doesn't just instantly start sharing my screen. It gives me a whole bunch of options, and it can be difficult to find what you want, especially if you have too many things open and that's embarrassing if you're in a meeting and you're trying to give a presentation and you only have a limited amount of time. So again, make sure you close down everything you don't need in advance. Now you'll see that Zoom gives you a couple options at the top here. I have two monitors, so it gives me the option to share either screen one or screen two. That's going to share everything on those monitors. And then there are whiteboard and iPhone iPad options. We'll talk about those later. And then it goes on to all of the different programs and windows that you have open on your computer. So let's start out with sharing an entire screen, and then we'll talk about sharing these programs individually. In my case, I'm going to click screen two, which is the screen that I have my Zoom window open on. So I make sure I have screen two selected, hit share, and then you'll notice that for me, my Zoom window immediately collapsed. So I now have this little floating window I can drag around with the thumbnails in it, but all of my Zoom menus went away. They are now up at the top. So I have to move my mouse up to the top to make that expand again, and then I get buttons like mute and my video settings and all of that. Now, this is going to share everything on this monitor. So if you have multiple programs that you do need to share that you need to toggle between or you want to have two things open at once, then this is going to be your best option. For example, if I want to share both an Excel and a PowerPoint file, I can have both of these open at once side by side on my monitor and the participant will see both of these. For example, here is a screenshot of what my participant sees right now while I have both of these open. You will notice, however, that the participant does not see my Zoom toolbar or this little floating window. So if I minimize both my PowerPoint and my Excel window, here's another screenshot of what the participant sees right now. They are just looking at my blank desktop without the Zoom controls. So again, this option is convenient, especially if you need to share multiple things. The risk here is inadvertently sharing something you did not want to share, especially if you have a messaging program like Slack with pop-up notifications that might pop up in the bottom corner of your window. Somebody messages something inappropriate or with profanity that you wouldn't want to see in a presentation, then everybody else will see that as well. So it can be a little less risky to only share the exact window or program you want to share, and that's what we'll show next. So let's say that I only want to share my PowerPoint. I know there won't be any other programs or windows I want to share, and I don't want to risk accidentally sharing something I didn't want my participants to see. I can do that by clicking the Share Screen button and then finding the PowerPoint program in this list of programs, selecting that, then clicking Share. So now this is going to switch to the PowerPoint window, and I had it full screen here, and you can see in a screenshot that my participant is just looking at my PowerPoint window. If I switch to presentation mode, this is something you have to be careful about if you have two monitors or if you're connected to an external projector, you might accidentally be sharing the presenter view as opposed to the full slide. So if that happens, you go up here to display settings, hit swap presenter view and slideshow, and now you'll be sharing the full screen view with your participants. And in this case, you can resize or drag around your window. And as you can see highlighted by the green border here, this is still all that is being shared with my participant. It's not sharing the rest of this screen. So 
Here is a screenshot of our sees right now. While I have this window kind of half size here, you can see on their screen, they're just seeing this PowerPoint window with black borders around it. They're not seeing the rest of my desktop. I can even minimize the window that I'm sharing completely. And if I do that, you'll see I get a little notification at the top that says your screen sharing is paused. So Zoom will automatically freeze the window for the viewers on whatever the last thing you were showing was. So again, here's that screenshot from right before I minimize the window. So the participants are still going to see this, but they're not going to see whatever else I'm doing on my desktop. So technically I could open my email or another window or something very quickly right now, and they wouldn't see it. So again, this is less risky in terms of avoiding inadvertently sharing things you wouldn't want to share, but the disadvantage is you have to toggle back and forth if you want to share different things. So for example, even if I open my Excel window right now, and drag it over top of or overlapping with this PowerPoint file, then the participants are not going to see this Excel window. If I want to share this, I have to click Stop Share, go back down to my share screen, and then either select Excel individually or select the entire monitor, and then I would be allowed to share both. So there are a few more advanced options here. I am not going to demonstrate all of them. I'm just going to go over them briefly so you can understand what they do. So again, clicking on Share Screen here, First, we have the whiteboard option. This is a digital whiteboard that allows you to draw on the screen. I have a separate video about how to draw in Zoom that explains that. You have a share from iPhone or iPad option. So if you have an iPhone or an iPad, you can sync them with Zoom separately and share your screen from there. There are these two little checkboxes down at the bottom. So first, Zoom screen share will not share your computer sound by default. So it will just share the sound from your microphone. So I have my microphone off screen here but for example if you're playing a video or a video game or sound effects or something those won't be set to the part sent to the participants by default they'll come out of your speakers on your end but everybody else won't hear them so if you want them to hear those sounds make sure you check that box if you are sharing video make sure you check this optimized screen sharing for video clip box otherwise the video might be choppy and finally over here on the advanced tab there are a couple more options you can share just a portion of your screen. So if you'd want to share everything in just a section as opposed to the entire monitor, then this will allow you to select a window that does that. You can share the audio only. So for example, if you wanna share music but not what appears on your screen, you can select that. And last but not least, we have content from second camera. So if you have a document camera that you want to aim at a piece of paper you're writing on or a webcam that you want to show a second view from, then you can select a second camera and show two camera feeds as opposed to sharing what's actually on your monitor. So I hope you found that video helpful. It's based on a lot of the comments I've gotten on my Zoom tutorial playlist with people asking, how do I do this? Or what do my participants see when I'm screen sharing? So as always, if you have a question, please leave a comment on YouTube and I'll try to get back to you. Or if you have a request or an idea for another tutorial, you can suggest that as well. Thank you.